Sammy Jam. That's what I call you. I'm the only one I love to call you Sammy Jam. That's right. I call him Sammy Jam because he's a producer and a singer. So um, he started off oh well as a producer. For those of you who don't know, and uh, today he's uh, majorly a singer. Even though he still can play almost all the instruments known to man. A childhood friend, you know, way back from Nigeria right now in the United States and still kicking it and still relevant and you know still playing all the shows that you will dream of okay so uh Sammy yes man welcome to the show <laughs> it's been a long time yes yeah, it's been a long, it's, been a long it's time like, it's like it's 30 years or 30 more more. Since we are little, yeah, in the yeah. hood, in the hood, <laughs> boys in the boys in the hood. <laughs> now we are men in the real hood, <laughs> Los Angeles, in the LA <laughs> hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Anyway, uh, so what brings you to LA? Yeah, I came for an event that is uh, uh, that's starting tonight. It's gonna be. Uh, oh. From today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, I'm gonna to be here for like four as uh, five days. Five days. Yeah. Whoa. I'm gonna like walk three days and chill for two days. Oh, uh, okay. So you have a three-day concert and then two-day chill. That's right. Oh, right. Can't, I can't fly all the way from Boston <laughs> and then not chill and relax and have fun and enjoy myself. Here. Yeah. Because a long distance all the way from Boston is like yeah. That's yeah. Six five hours flight. It's like you're going to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I want to be able to be in the shoes of your fans. You know, um, over the years, I would say you probably have more fans in the US right now than in Nigeria, where you started off. Uh, yeah, from you know. So how how was the journey? How did it start? How how did you make it this far? You opened for Ty Tubert, you opened for Ron Connolly, I saw, you know, clips with you hanging around with all the A-list gospel artists. My question is, for someone who's trying to get to where you are, you know, uh, probably, let, let me use for example, let me say for example, a Nigerian or an African who is in the States, who's got the same gift and talents as you, and who wants to grow here in the, in the US, what would you say? What, what would be your advice? How did you, you know, what tips would you give? Yeah, first of all, I started, you know, like opening for, you know, all these guys. Yeah, opening you know, for all these, I understand, but yeah. how did you before then? Oh, before then? Like, yeah. how did you open how did, how did yeah. up? Yeah, connect with them? Yeah, because you can't because, just open it. Yes, yeah, 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 right. right. no, you can't yeah, yeah, open just open. Open. Oh, That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I started by, you know, being consistent mm -hmm. in whatever I was doing, yeah. I was like, I was, I had a drive, okay. and I didn't allow anything like failures to mm -hmm. affect my drive. Okay. So I kept on doing what I was doing because there was a scripture that I like so much, Proverbs 22. Mm -hmm. It says, "He says the man diligent in his business, yeah, he shall stand before kings. Yeah, he shall not stand before mean men. <laughs> you know, I want to stand before kings. Yeah. So I, I said, you know what? I need to work hard." Yeah. It takes hard work yeah. and consistency because yeah. they are watching you. People are watching yeah, what you that's do. Right. That's right. So if you keep doing what you're doing and doing it well, yeah. perfection, it will get you there. Yeah. But it takes time and patience. That's right. You know? Okay. So how about how long did it take before you actually started opening for this artist? Uh, it took me for like uh, two years. Two, two three years. years. Okay. Two, yeah, two, three years. I would say that's fast too. Yeah, because you, but you know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that's good. That's good. Uh, and then, you know, was there a particular point you can remember when someone said, oh, you know what, you got to be there for this program or, oh, I saw you on this program. I want you to open for this. Is there a particular way it all started? Can you trace it back? Mm, uh, yes. As a matter of fact, this was my my late wife's uh, uh, cousin. Okay. Had a concert. I uh, was doing an, an event, mm -hmm. and then they already saw me perform a lot. Okay. So they said, they were like, okay, we want you to open for Tight Tribute. Wow. So that was the 
beginning of it all. Okay. So, and then that opening gave brought more open. Yeah, can you imagine? So, yeah, because that was the first one. Yeah. Because then the, a lot more started coming, you know. It was that that opening was great. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna tear up this place. <laughs> and in fact, when I, watched, when I watched that video, I was like, man, I, I tore up this place. <laughs> Yeah, it was really you good. Gotta, you gotta take, make use of the opportunity. Oh, yeah, you know. I was, oh wow, that's good. That's good. Um, something I, I can't remember, but you have some, have something to do with Phil Driscoll. Oh yes, Phil Driscoll uh, and I we met the first time in uh, uh, Dallas. Okay. Yeah, I was having a program. I was doing a program with um, one of the ministries there, and he happened to be one of the guests so that was how we our relationship stopped started okay so i ministered and he came in when i was ministering the old church was on on fire mm. he was like who is this guy <laughs> i was like wow he came straight up to the stage and it was like you know he gave me a high five and it was from there we started you know we came cool and yeah. talking and mm. i asked him because i told him he's one of my mentors and he gave me a lot of advice on how music business and the ministry yeah because you know we only sometimes we focus only on the ministry yeah, and forget. Don't forget we forget the business aspect yeah. of it yeah so he taught me so many things i learned so many things from him okay. so that's how our relationship started in, yeah in dallas texas okay so your videos what what, what did the videos play any role in you know getting you where you are you know you got a lot of views on your videos a lot of reactions both here and i'm back home in nigeria um how well did videos make your career yes you know you know visuals is very visuals are usually very powerful yeah it's very effective to every artist and careers the first one was holy spirit okay yeah, and then and then uh, people were like oh wow paid attention yeah so when i did the second one which is the uh hallelujah the hallelujah the hallelujah was big yeah it got across everywhere okay so the Alia was a very big one because of the style okay and the, the creativity of the video yeah so people were drawn to it yeah so that video actually contributed to people knowing my ministry and knowing yeah. my yeah. Uh, my work nice, nice. welcome to LA once again now if we um, if we save your fans out there want to know a little bit more about you okay could you tell them about you know like what's your favorite spot or oh, like location if, if you have to hide out where, oh, will, okay. where will you sneak to when you say location where do you mean like a country or oh, yeah a any location in a country in a state in a country where you like you really love to be and chill for a country i would say the united states Okay, and for the city, I would say uh, in and like right now we're in Los Angeles. I would yeah. say Santa Monica. I like Santa Monica. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's a place. It's a relax, nice for relaxation. Yeah, you know, you know by yourself and you can you can yeah, we can be relax. You can be creative. <laughs> you know, those are the places you like. I like to chill. And, yeah, and home. In Boston, I like my I like my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's for your location. Where would what uh, what's your favorite food? And I think I would like to put it in two ways now. Your favorite food in the U.S. and your favorite African dish. Mm, okay. My favorite American food would be. Um, I like vegetables. Okay. Yeah, I like vegetables and uh, uh, for American food. American food, no much, <laughs> you know. But African food, I can tell you what I really do like <laughs> because I grew up in Africa. <laughs> All right. I like beans. Mm. I know you like beans too. Yeah, we're in the club. We're in the club. Yeah, you, you. I yeah. like stew and rice. Mm -hmm. And uh, fish, I like fish. Oh yeah, and also, can't go wrong. With and fish. then the swallow, I like. Eh, but I don't like pounded yam. Oh really? Yeah, I don't like pounded yam. Make sure it's too much big. Oh. I, I, I try to avoid too much green. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a fact? Yeah. 
You know, when you eat too much of those banded yam, uh, your stomach becomes banded. <laughs> Any book out there that you probably have read or, you know, that you think will be of help or you motivational book? Okay, the books. The Just first one, anyone. Oh, you want to give a list? Oh! The first book that I like, which every book comes from, is the Bible. Oh, oh okay, all right. That's my favorite book. Okay, all right. Um, what about uh, any quote? Any quote that keeps you going? Any quote that you know yeah. that that you could say to the people that will make them, you know, want to move on, go harder? Yeah, it's from the scriptures too. It says, "See the man diligent." Mm -hmm. In his business, he mm -hmm. shall stand before kings, yeah. and he shall not stand before mean men. Good, 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 good. All right. So consistency—that's the bottom yes. line. If you are consistent, in whatever you do. Uh, okay, we'll put it. Just um, we we'll need you to say it, but we'll still write it on on the screen. Uh, but how can your fans, you know, and everybody that wants to be your fan, how can they reach you online? YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram. Some soft music. That's some soft music. And also from Facebook at some some sort. Okay, we'll we'll put those names. We'll put the description, and everything, so you can check it out. Subscribe to his page, and then when you get there, show some love and say, you know, um, if you're new to his channel, let him know where you found him and stuff like that. So you know, he kind of knows that you you got to know him through this interview. I mean, he will be able to give you more attention if he knows you are from me. Um, thank you for watching. Um, uh, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Click the like button if you like the, this video. And um, uh, right, Sammy, thank you very much for thank you coming for, on the show. Thank you for hosting me, and I want you guys to follow. Yeah, my brother, my brother is my mm -hmm. friend, so I want you guys to follow him yeah. and support his uh, his work. And uh, we've, we've come a long way yep. in this industry. Yes. And, uh, we expect you, and I, thank you, I want to thank you guys also yeah. for your support. We really okay. appreciate it. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.